Uh, this vehicle is the Object 274A. This is a Russian Tier 8 medium tank. It's also a premium tank. Uh, this is something that you can win for free in the Polar Challenge, or you can purchase it. And uh, I've analyzed this vehicle, and I've compared it to other Russian medium tanks and a few other tanks. This is actually a really good tank. Uh, so I'm going to go into the comparison first. Let me show you which vehicles I compared it to. We've got the T-44, the 54 Mod 1, the T-34-2, which is Chinese, the American Pershing Panther 2 FV-4202, the M4A1 Revelerice, the TVP, the STA-2, and the STA-1. And what you're going to find, number one, is that the penetration on the Object 27A is higher than all these other vehicles. Now, keep in mind, these are Tier 8 medium tanks. 227, in terms of overall for Tier 8, 227 is kind of average. Uh, average tanks in Tier 8 get between 210 and 220 penetration. On the low end, they get 175, and on the high end, they get around 260 or 270. So 227 is right in the middle for penetration. As you can see, the average damage is 320, which is pretty good. You know, we see this one over here is 390. But 320 is definitely greater than a lot of these other vehicles that have only 250 damage. And then I'm going to look at the armor. For turret armor, this has the highest turret armor of all the vehicles that I selected for comparison. I did not choose every medium tank in Tier 8. For example, I left out the Swedish Udis. Because I do want to try and keep it to vehicles with similar playing styles. The hull armor, however, is a little bit of a different story. The T-54 Mod 1 does have the strongest hull armor, but this vehicle is actually pretty good, or we can say it's at least equivalent to all of these other vehicles, which are, there's a lot of them that are in at 100. So it's actually on the higher side. Uh, some of them you can see are only 51, 65, etc. So for armor, the vehicle is pretty good. When you look at top speed, we got 58 kilometers per hour. 58 also puts it at the top of the 11 vehicles I put in my comparison. So for speed, it's also a good vehicle. And then we have uh, camouflage. This is at uh, 16 for concealment. Uh, you'll notice that the SDA-2 uh, does come up higher, but this might actually have, um, see how it's got uh, some concealment here? And it's got this, which I guess I can't remove. So I didn't, uh, where's concealment? So when I remove that, you see that the concealment is actually pretty consistent on the higher end with all the other vehicles. Uh, so the final number is the view range. And with view range, it's also in line with all the other vehicles, more towards the higher of the average than the lower of the average. That means that the Object 274A is probably going to be one of the best Tier 8 medium tanks. So I'm going to get back to it. And this is what it looks like. You can see it has a rounded frontal hull. Usually it's strongest in the center, a little bit weaker on the side. There's uh, no side skirt. Nothing great about the rear. Uh, this log is used. If it gets stuck in the mud, they put the log under the track, and it helps drive it out. It does have a rounded uh, turret. It's got a pretty good shape to it. The cupola is pretty shallow. Don't see a lot of weak spots on the front. I'm going to give you an example of a weak spot. Anything that's protruding like a headlight is not a weak spot. A weak spot will be something like this circular area over here, which is probably a hatch for the driver to enter. This viewport could be considered a potential weak spot because you have to have a hole in the armor uh, for the driver uh, to see through. It does use a crew of four. As you can see, uh, this is going to be the commander over here on the right. Uh, this 
Now, actually, you know what? The commander is probably on the left because it has all the viewports. And on the right, it's probably the loader because he has to be at the rear of the breech of the gun. And you see over here to the left of the barrel, there's a gun sight protruding. So that means the gunner sits right over here and the driver probably sits in the center of the vehicle. Uh, often they'll sit to the right or to the left. Because he's in the center of the vehicle, there's a good chance that the ammunition is stored on the right and the left of the vehicle. And uh, the loader, like I said, is over here on the right. The ammunition has to be stored where the loader can access it, which means it's going to be over here on the right side. It's going to be over here in the rear, etc. The engine is not the width of the vehicle. It's, it's mostly in the center of the vehicle, and the fuel tanks are going to be on the left and on the right. Uh, this vehicle, if you want to purchase it, uh, the full price right now is $75 U.S. dollars. Uh, the premium rounds are 289 penetration, which is actually pretty good. And uh, nine second reload, which is consistent with a gun that does a lot of damage. 690 horsepower engine. That's not a lot of horsepower. And the radio is 850, which is really good. So you should have no problem with a game like Frontline. Okay, that is the Object 274A. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.